know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder Friends, it's me, Zoe, and this is our little red wagon. Isn't it great? Wagons are so much fun. Whee! Do you have a wagon? Wagons can be used for so many fun things. Like one time, I filled my wagon up with toys so I could bring them to my friend's house. But today, I'm filling my wagon up with something even better, even cooler, something even more wonderful. Today. I'm filling our wagon up with books. Lots and lots of books, like a library. I'm gonna walk up and down my street and share my books with my neighbors. I have books about space. I have books about farm animals. I have books about plants. I have books about colors. I think I have books for everyone. Ho, ho. It's Ollie. Hello, Zoe. Ho, ho. That's a lot of books with you. It is, Ollie. I'm filling this wagon up with books to share with all the people on my street. Books are fun. Yes, it's true. I've got a story about a special book for you. Listen up. Just follow me through. Ho, ho. Follow me through. Follow me through. Good job, Stormy Jane. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Do you want to see the new trick I'm teaching Stormy Jane? <laughs> you do? Okay, Stormy, ready? Salsa dance. <laughs> Here's your treat. <laughs> Wasn't that great? And I learned it all in this dog trick book. Books help us learn so much. If I want to learn about dog training, I read dog training books. But here's a question. What if I want to learn about God? Is there a book I can read to hear from God? <laughs> yes, there is. And that's what today's story is all about. Are you ready? <laughs> Stormy's ready. I'm ready. You're ready. So let's go. This true story from the Bible is about a king. <laughs> nope, that's not the king. The king was younger. Nope, that's not him either. Getting closer, but this king was still younger. <gasps> there he is. This is King Josiah. He is eight years old. Most eight-year-old kids are making artwork or building with blocks or playing at the park. But eight-year-old Josiah was king. King Josiah loved God and he wanted to hear from God. Who else wants to hear from God? Me too. Well, one day, some of King Josiah's workers found something very special. They found scrolls with God's words on them. King Josiah was so excited. Show me your best excited face. <laughs> very good. <laughs> Stormy Jane, great job. And great job, everyone. You look very excited. King Josiah was so excited that he began reading God's words so he could hear from God. King Josiah wanted to do what God said because he loved God and he knew God loved him. God loves someone else too. God loves you and God loves me. That's why God gave us a book where we can hear from God too. Do you know what book I'm talking about? The Bible, yes, you're right. The Bible is full of stories and words from God about who He is, how we should live, and how much God loves us. The Bible is like a big I love you from God. Oh, hey Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who loves you? God loves me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who loves you? God loves me. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. 
Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. The Bible is a book where you can hear from God. That's true for you, you, and you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho, ho. Wow. King Josiah heard from God when he read God's words. I can hear from God when I read from the Bible too. I think I've got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! You know what I think this book wagon needs? A Bible! That way people can hear from God in the most important book ever. I'll see you next time. Bye! I will always love you. Jeremiah 31 3. I will always love you. Jeremiah 31 3.